Side quest week two guide. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Now, obviously with Act 8.4 kind of like raging supreme with a lot of people, I thought I'd do a little bit of a side quest focus. I'm going to do Act 8.4 content. I'm going to record it today and put it out tomorrow, but also I'll be covering some stuff here and there. So uh, look out for more videos, maybe today and of course tomorrow. But I wanted to do something about the side quest. Of course, this month's, so this week's side quest, week two, has got a different flavor to it. Even though Man-Thing is the end boss, for some reason... I faced off against Man Thing. Uh, uh, not Man Thing. Uh, Ma I faced off against Man Thing, yes. But I faced off against Man Gog. So it's all the mans. I am Rich the Man. Real name Richard Manning. So, yeah. Anyway, look. Side quest, week two, options. Of course, I'm going to be focusing this on the most difficult, which is threat five. But of course, it is kind of uh, covering other types of elements if you're going up against some of these champions. I've done most of the paths so far with this. And of course, uh, we'll go over getting the maze uh, keys. So that's the, we'll go into that in a minute. But let's start off. And by the way, if you don't want to listen to the video, listen to me or kind of look at what I'm talking from a visual sense. Go to the link in the description. I've updated the side quest guide and I've put in a new tab. Uh, I'll rearrange the tabs. So if you click on best champions for the side quest, it has now got week two. But what I'll do is walk you through it. So, you know, infographic portion, video portion. It's how life works. So you've got some options uh, to go and uh, grab the key. The key for this one, which you can see on screen right now, is the Four Knights. The Four Knights are, not Four Knights, Mystic Champions go against Raw Damage Champions. Based on the information that we've got, shout out to, uh, to Aunt May. These are some of the champions on screen right now you need to face off against. And there are some really good options. Some, some ones, it's just down to you, like what you're interested in. Go for free in Arena and go and try and find some of these champions. Or go to some of the locations that I'm going to recommend right now. So first of all, if you want to use your dual credits on a daily basis, search hub, just like that, H-U-B, and you'll find hub there, your dual hub, and hub is a four-star gladiator target. This gets you five, five, of your kind of like burn of entries. It saves you, by the way, depending on how you want to approach this, about 20 energy by doing these five runs and of course you could do them over a length of time like there's there's four times three three times four is 12 so you could do this over three days for free using no energy if you wanted to get this done like i have been doing is quite simply go to the following so the first one is go to your event quest go to um the either proven or whatever it is that you're, you're looking to fight off against uh, and go to low fire spells to study two right uh, go into it with of course a mystic based champion and you'll find yourself a sunspot which is two energy away so to confirm that this works quite simply you can see i'm up four or four at the moment and i've been doing this where i've just been going in it burns um a four energy did i say two energy i think i was meant to say four energy it burns four energy this one apart from winter soldier is the most kind of effective on energy to spend but do bear in mind you could just if you wanted a bit of a challenge do winter soldier it, it's just up to you like you don't really have to do much right here and just it's it's done don't auto fight or auto play because it will send you into the next one and that's a problem because then you'll burn another two energy is there a ch oh actually you could do that you could do in a sense go auto fight there and is Sauron one of them? No, he's not. So yes, you could burn uh, auto play, but then the same problem presents itself that if you auto play and it sends you to Sauron, you might burn some more energy, which uh, is not too advantageous um, if you want to be quite savvy with your energy. Uh, and of course, uh, we'll just check in. Yeah, you can see one of three there, so I've done another one. Uh, and do bear in mind, this is the compensation. So we'll talk about the compensation week and how that works. And we'll, actually, we'll talk about that in a second after uh, we go into the side quest. So in the side quest this particular week is that uh, we have the maze with Man-Thing. But as I said, you do see pop up from time to time a Man-Gog. It's happened to me once. I don't know if it's going to happen again. It was kind of annoying because I prepped my team in order to take down man thing and didn't know that i'd be facing off against mangog it was kind of weird uh but you know it's kabam at the end of the day and weird things do happen 
For a setup of going off the, the different paths, we'll just talk about that right now. If I get a chance, I'll throw footage up of that in action. So first of all, the Iron Fist fight is similar to one of the paths of last week, where if you've got uh, Buffet over time, hey, guess what? What's best to do is to suppress with a heal block. You cannot use Cosmic Champions um, this time, and you cannot use Mystic. So Cosmic and Mystic no go you can't use those champions so a lot of the time when i'm doing these kind of like um guides is kind of utilizing some of these um you know key champions whether or not they've got hill block in their ability or not a lot of tech champions can do this like uh, hill blockers which i've recommended either starting off with uh, warlock uh, mega sentinel these are kind of again some kind of like quintessential options but there are uh, there are more you know you could go a different route i mean i used hulk not exactly the best option but it's an option nevertheless and uh, you've also got titania spider man 2099 spot and red guardian because they have no buff restriction so do bear that in mind if you're thinking about some options on another path side of things, uh, we've got uh, Cyclops, which uh, starts off this path, which is Piercing Pursuit, Standing Power. I would say, in a nutshell, to explain this, do not get hit in your block. If you get hit in your block, there's trouble, because you power up the enemy. A great option for this, because you cannot power lock, drain, burn, uh, and steal, is to special lock you can special lock champions. So any champion that special locks can be good. I think Nimrod does it. Uh, Iron Man, not the infamous Iron Man, they said the wrong thing, the infamous Iron Man can do this very well. I've tested that out and that can do that SP1 suppression. Of course, running Suicide Masteries like I do at the moment means that, and as in Liquid Courage Double Edge, uh, it does mean that this is a bit of a restriction as to how I rotate around recoil and I've got to be very specific. But I was doing a lot of damage, happy days. And Nimrod worked perfectly fine with this, just getting him with ST2, SP2 and it's obliteration right there, so that's fantastic. I've not done a cap infinity a cap world war 2 fight just yet but I would say any champion largely goes with this one my notes on the matter are as follows any champ just do light and medium attacks to do damage or do a heavy attack charging which will give you a fury passive on you also purify a debuff fury passive on the defender intercept them enemy gets degen that's that explained in a nutshell any champion will theoretically work um so yeah plan your route specifically uh, around uh, around that because you've got warpath and energy uh convert you've then got yourself that uh, final path the final path is ronin uh, ronin's path is going to be feet of vigilance evasive maneuvers dodge souls prowess so when you dodge you get a a, a, few, a you get a um prowess and when you get a prowess Hey, you do more special damage. It's kind of like a thing. Uh, you could play play into it like, okay, well, I'll just bring Bishop, get more fury, get more um, prowess. Same with Kitty Pride, and do a lot of damage. If for whatever reason you're like, okay, well, I'm not quite sure on my approach. Am I going to be knocking down the defender a lot? Uh, then you might want evade counters. And if you go in with evade counters, then you could look to, again, because it's specific, there's no true strike, there's no uh, cosmics you can access easily. Then, of course, you like uh, Falcon, um, Nick Fury, uh, Mole Man, Slow Debuff Champion, She-Hulk, um, Spider-Gwen and uh, Titania. To be honest, Oh, and also Spider-Man 2099, depending on the rotation. But again, I'd kind of like go... It's not a difficult path. Uh, it depends how difficult you want to make it for yourself as to how you want to interact with it or not interact with evasive maneuver. So when the defender is knocked down, when they gain, then, then they gain an evade charge. Well, don't do attacks that are going to likely knock them down so much, like heavy attacks and special attacks, maybe just kind of build it to an SP3, then fire it off, uh, then go for a, um, uh, what is it, like a striker stun, and then wait out that 10 seconds in order to make it more clean for you to go in uh, again. Now, as I said, the final the final boss is going to be, uh, it's a question mark, it's got Man-Thing on it, but you end up facing Man-Thing and, well, I faced off four times against uh, Magneto House of X, so what are they talking about? It's weird. 
In any case, if you've got, if you've got uh, Liquid Courage, Double Edge Masteries, and uh, you will... Oh, Willpower, sorry. If you've got Willpower on, no, if you've got Willpower on, Combat Deja Vu, Weakness will literally top you back up with health. Fantastic. Um, if you've got Willpower Mastery. Uh, bullet Time, if you want an Evade Base Counter, probably best to choose, uh, I'd say, Slow Debuff Champions. But, um, this is a tough one. Okay, I would go with... No buff options. Spider-Man 2099 did this fight rather well. Spider-Ham could work on this, but you've got to keep your distance. It's Rising Sun that causes the issue. Rising Sun, which you can see on screen right now, it's like you need to land your heavy attack, which is very specific because you're like, okay, well, um, finding the window. You've got, okay, when you swipe away, you've got to get back in, do the heavy attack quickly. And you don't want don't to be too far away. Sometimes I felt the rotation was a little bit annoying, and I, I felt that it was better to use no buff options just to avoid it like spider-man 2099 uh titania did this fight rather well uh, spot probably did this fight very well as as well uh photon was okay but i really would recommend spider-man 2099 uh, i used hulk fine if you are facing off against mangog you might want to build up to an sp3 with spider-man 2099 or at least have that uh she hulk in your team because of easy access to slow debuff it is it's a tough one to recommend what is the best option but these are some options to consider especially because you've got that dgen coming at you and spider hand would deal with that quite nicely so it depends on the interaction how you want to play around uh, against this finishing things up is uh, is kindred this is a bit of a tricky fight especially because it's got delirium as part of its kit so it's a little bit frustrating because your dosh, dosh, your dash and dodge controls are inverted in the fight. Robots and champions with psychic shielding are immune to this effect, and it's can't be prevented by ability accuracy reduction. Uh, so yeah, you could lose a load of robots on this one. Uh, is this going to be very much kind of like bringing warlock? Maybe. I used it. I used Hulk, but that's probably not the better option. Uh, I would say Viv Vision might be quite good in this. Any psychic shielding option is going to be good as well. Um, possibly a Mega Sentinel for this. Look, that this is probably it. All the other stuff you don't really need to worry too much about. That's just straightforward stuff. If you're familiar with like the rotation of the champion, of course you've got that that uh, degen debuff on you so you may be like okay well uh, mr negative maybe gladiator hulk human torch possibly but that's kind of like a rough quick fight that you're gonna have to like just bash out and also do the dash and dodge kind of inverted stuff which again is another tricky one i used hulk that was fine uh spider ham yeah better option juggernaut and uh professor x could work really really well same with emma frost the robots now, those are your options. I would really recommend using or putting on boost just to make this fight a little bit more easier, especially if you want to do this quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, very much good luck to you. And uh, just quickly on explaining the compensation, maybe I'll do a separate video on this one. You will have enough. Uh, you'll have enough of the current difficulty you have to do it. You you got four. You got additionals. As Kabam have said in this message right uh, right here, and I completely forgot about this because, well, I'm an idiot sometimes, uh, that you do get additional, where is it? Four additional uh, map entry keys. I would recommend with this, just checking out, if, rather than checking out the current difficulty, if it's annoying to face off against Kindred, you'll effectively get four more entries. So you may want to look down to, I don't know, the first week and say, right, well, I'll use, uh, say, I've done threat, threat threat level five. I'll go and enter with my four additional keys, which, of course, you can see they're kind of universal on entry and go and do a lower difficulty. I'll do threat level four, pick up some of the keys, and then you're able to... Um, uh, to go into the vault for what was an easier week with Rook's vault and do a um, the, 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 the the Storm Pyramid X one. Oh, so, thank you so much. Uh, and then kind of go through there and kind of do that. Like that may be a better option for you. It just will depend on was the first week easier? Was it not? Rather than doing Kindred, 
can I wait? Should I wait? And asking those questions of yourself um, with it. But you'll have four additional entries. So why not use them on a lower difficulty? Why not use it on a week that's maybe easier? Maybe wait until the last two weeks are uh, kind of out and you can make a decision of which one's easier. But that's been a video. Thank you very much for watching. Check out some other content located on the screen. The link in the spreadsheet and a link for the spreadsheet in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.